Hello friends, welcome to Stavner's exam where you can watch easy medical video lectures that are helpful in cracking all the medical and nursing exams. This is the third part of our drug dose calculation video series. In this video, we are going to solve a couple of questions. So let's start. Before moving forward, kindly subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest video uploads. Your support is required to keep us motivated. Here's the question. Prescription for IV ampicillin 200 mg. You have a vial of 500 mg in 10 ml. What volume contains the dose you need? Okay. So, we need to remember the formula. The formula is do TA DA. Here, do is, dose ordered is 500 Dose ordered is 200 mg. Total amount in ampule is 10 ml. And DA, that is dose in ampule is 500 mg. Okay. So when we calculate it, 200 into 10 divided by 500 it comes out to be 4 ml okay so the volume that contains the dose we need is 4 ml i hope you understand this question clearly let's move to next question prescription for iv digoxin 187.5 micrograms you have a vial of 0.5 mg in 2 ml. What volume contains the dose you need? Okay, so here you need to first see what is the dose ordered. Dose ordered here is 187.5 micrograms. Okay, now you need to know how to convert micrograms into milligrams. When we need to convert gram into milligram, what we need to do is to multiply it with 1000. If we need to convert milligram into microgram, we need to multiply it with 1000. If we need to convert microgram into milligram, what we need to do is to divide it with 1000. Okay. So, if we need to convert this microgram into milligram, we need to divide it with 1000. Then it would be 0.1875 milligram. Okay, so DO would be 0.1875 milligram. Clear? Now, total dose in ampule is. 2 ml total amount in ampule is 2 ml dose in ampule is 0.5 mg okay so as per the formula do ta divided by da it comes as 1875 into 2 divided by 0.5 okay when we calculate it the answer would become 0.75 ml okay so the volume that contains the dose we need is 0.75 ml Let's move on to our next question. Prescription is for dopamine 2 mg per kg per hour. You have a 70 kg patient and a syringe of 800 mg in 50 ml. What rate would, what rate would be the infusion rate in ml per hour? Okay. So this is also a very straightforward question we need to first see what is do dose ordered is 
the dose ordered is 2 mg per kg okay so 2 into 70 that comes out to be 140 mg total amount in ampule would be 50 ml and dose in ampule da is 800 mg okay so as per the formula do ta divided by da is equal to 140 into 50 divided by 800 when we calculate it it would come as 8.75 ml per hour okay so this should be the infusion rate clear so if we use this formula this simple formula we can do it in less then one minute we can easily do these kind of questions in less than one minute okay i hope you understand these questions now here some homework for you this question is again from mosby's 20th edition page number 56 a child is to receive 60 mg of phenytoin 60 mg of phenytoin the medication is available as an oral suspension that contains 125 mg per 5 ml. How many milliliters should the nurse administer? Record your answer using one decimal place. Okay, so always remember the golden rules, follow the steps, use the formula, calculate it and always keep in mind the uh, units. So do solve this question and write your answer in the comment section. I hope you like this video. If you find this video helpful, you can motivate us by liking and sharing this video. Keep learning through staff nurse exam, your success buddy. Thank you for watching.